Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew and today we are doing another episode of Collecting with Matthew. A series where I, Matthew, who has 8 years of experience with collecting, will teach you tips, advice, and tricks about collecting your favorite figures. Now, here's the thing. This episode is going to cover <clears throat> pretty much the biggest thing with regards to collecting. Knockoffs versus the real McCoy, the real deal. Basically, officially licensed versus unlicensed. Bootlegs, counterfeits, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be teaching you guys some ways to detect which is a bootleg and which is not. Here in front of me, right, in right in front of me, I have the Monster Arts, the Monster Arts, the Movie Monster series is what I meant to say, uh, Shin Godzilla, and it's bootleg from Amazon, or eBay, wherever this place, this thing is sold. But anyways, um, we're going to be talking about like how you guys can buy the real version and where you can find the bootleg if you for some reason want to buy that. I had the bootleg because it was a gift, so don't attack me because I had the bootleg. So anyways, let's go ahead. So first of all, we need to discuss what is an officially licensed figure. Well, again, it's officially licensed by the company who made said license. Here we have an official Godzilla figure endorsed by Toho, the company who makes the Godzilla films and owns the intellectual properties to Godzilla, so on and so forth. And a way to prove this is specifically looking at the bottom. Trademark and copyright Toho Company Limited. If it has this and it is officially licensed, then it's all good to go. And what bootlegs basically do is they try to disguise themselves as the real deal and try to make money off the real thing and uh, basically sell you a inferior version to the real product. In some ways, I think this guy's actually better than him, but that's like a whole different video. Uh, should we go watch it? But basically, this is the bootleg and this is the original. See how the bootleg is much darker and has much sloppier and much more goopier looking paint than it's original yeah um also it's uh slightly smaller because of the mold they shrunk it down and like kind of think of it like uh shrink wrap you know it kind of gets it can expand but it also gets smaller yeah, that's kind of what's going on here however there is something to know you might say oh i can just look at my figure look at the bottom see copyright to a whole company limited right and you're all good to go that's officially licensed right not exactly. See, some figure companies like, uh, I think, Funko, U2s, uh, NECA, and Bandai love to actually... Actually, I don't think Funko does this, but basically all the other companies I just listed love to embed logos and copyright in their molds. And so basically when bootlegs scan the molds and reprint them, you will end up with this. Copyright trademark, Toho Company Limited. They did not even attempt to seal that away. So, essentially, that's how you can tell that this is just a blatant copy. Just look at it, you know? Um, realistically, the best way to avoid bootlegs is to get this guy from Hobby Link Japan. They still have them on stock, and these things are being mass-produced like there's no tomorrow. I mean, given the quality of the figure, I mean, no offense to Bandai, but your guys' early days were, like, way better than the stuff you pump out now, so please improve. It just shows, you know, how much money they still make from Shin Godzilla figures, despite the fact that the movie released seven years ago. Jeez, we're getting old. So, yeah, definitely look on Hobby Link Japan, and definitely... Avoid using Amazon and eBay. I know that sounds weird, but I guarantee you 99% of those links are a fit are these guys and not him Him and not him Also, it's not just remolds. It's actually new figures entirely here I have the Godzilla of panic and destruction who you may know as Godzilla jr. On the anger vs. Godzilla show This is not ever like mold wise not an official figure, but yet you look on here and it says trademark and copyright Toho. Hold on, can't really see it that well. 
I mean, kind of see right there. It's trademark copyright 2014, Toho Company Limited. That's what it says. This is not an officially licensed product, and I know that from chance. So, basically, bootlegs are sneaky. They really are. But trust me, with the right handling and the right places to find, specifically like Big Bad Toy Store, you know, you go into your um, in uh, IRR retailers like Walmart, uh, I'd say Target too, and Toys R Us if your uh, country still has it, you are more than uh, lucky. You're more than lucky to have it officially. So yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys liked it, definitely subscribe to the channel. Jesus loves you. God bless you all. Go out there and spread the gospel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.